The graph of the solution set for a system of inequalities is shown below. All right, so we've got two lines, double shading going on. Let's see what I notice right off the bat. First off, line and a line. We're dealing with less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, no dashed lines here. And we have this shading here. So let's, let's take a look at one line at a time. All right, I'm going to mark you. I'm going to call you the red line. That one's the red line. All right, let's figure out what this red line is. First off, let's get the Y. I'm going to leave the sign alone for a second there. Let's come up with our slope and Y intercept first. All right, remember, I'm comparing all this to Y equals MX plus B. All right, my slope looks like it's going to be here's a dot, here's a dot, up 1, 2 over 1, 2, 3. So my slope is going to be negative up 2 over 3, x with a y-intercept of 2. Now, in order for the shading to be below the line, this has to be a less than or equal to so there you have it, okay? Now let's do this other line. We'll make you blue, okay? Uh, y, I don't know the symbol. Uh, let me see, what kind of slope do I have? Let's put a dot here, let's put a dot here. So my slope is positive one, two over one. So my slope is two over one or just two X. My Y intercept is plus four. And in order for my shading to be above the line, it's got to be a greater than or equal to because it's a solid line. So this is my system of inequalities. Uh, <laughs> they want it in standard form. I didn't notice. All right, so if they want it in standard form, what I have to do is for this red equation, for this red equation, I have to add two thirds X to both sides. In order to move negative two thirds X from the right to the left, I have to add it from both sides. That makes it two thirds X plus Y is less than or equal to two. Now this technically is in standard form yet, because I have a fraction here. So in order to get rid of that over three, I can multiply this whole entire thing by three. That gives me two X, three times Y is three Y, and then uh, less than or equal to six. Okay. In order to make this standard form, I have to subtract 2x from both sides. So that gives me negative 2x. y is still on the left, so plus regular y is greater than or equal to 4. And now that should be all I need. So 2x plus 3y is less than 6. That looks like it's that one. Negative 2x plus y is greater than, oh, greater than, no, I need greater than 4. So negative 2x plus y is greater than 4. Uh, looks like it's going to be you. Oh, that was pretty unpleasant. I mean... If you, if you were using a regular like Desmos calculator, you could probably take turns typing each one of these into Desmos and see which one gives you that double shading. But yeah, this one wasn't fun by any stretch of the imagination. And even when we did come up with the answer in standard form, then you had to just carefully make sure that you picked the one that ended up being the right answer, which is D right there. So gross.